see so many people here today. I may have to. Have somebody Got a fun lesson for you today. I thought we were going to go over filling out the convention card. I decided, well, I actually didn't print out a convention card, so we're just going to keep plowing through the book. Um, got some housekeeping stuff to go over. Before we do that, I have jokes for you. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, three fellows married women from different parts of the country. Uh, the first married a woman from Nebraska. And when they got married, he said, look, when I come home tonight, I want to see the house clean and dinner on the table. Not me. Okay, first night, didn't see anything. Good luck. Second night, didn't see anything. Third night, actually had the house clean and dinner on the table. Okay. Second man married a woman from Oregon. Same thing. Look, when I come home tonight, I want to see the house clean, dinner on the table. First night, didn't see anything. Second night, didn't see anything. The third night, when he came home, house was clean, dinner on the table. Third fellow married a woman from New Jersey uh -huh. <laughs> and said, look, when I come home tonight, I want to see the house clean and dinner on the table. Uh, first night, didn't see anything. Second night, didn't see anything. Third night, the swelling had gone down enough so we could see out of the um, Still hurt 20 piece. So. <laughs> Sundays. Um, actually, on the way here, some of you saw me packing stuff in. Um, yeah, I usually go to Costco and pick up stuff, but on my way, while I'm on the road, I will talk to my mother. Yeah, love mom. Um, she and my dad taught my brother and I how to play bridge. And anytime she was playing in a suit contract, as soon as she took a trick, love you, Mom. Okay. Okay. Anytime, as soon as she took a trick, she would say, time to get the children off the street. Mm -hmm. And she would pull Trump. And then she would think. What next? Now, obviously, sometimes it's a good time to pull Trump. Okay? Those times will be made more obvious as I put this object hand up on the board. If y'all are going to pay attention, this is going to take <laughs> yeah. a lot longer. I'm just going to say. <laughs> All right. So you got this hand. What contract do you want to be in on this hand? Okay, spades, hearts, diamonds, clubs. Spades. How many spades? Four. Four. Okay. And a good thing to do when you're playing a suit contract is count your losers. Okay, no trump, we want to count our winners. If we're in a three no trump contract, we want to be able to get the nine. If we're in a four of a major contract, we want to hold our losers to three. Okay, so how many spade losers do I have? Not even I can lose a spade on this contract. How many heart losers? Two. We've got two, okay, because the third I can take care of. How many diamond losers? None. None. And how many club losers? I have one. So I got three losers as long as I can 
not make a compression play. Okay. I learned what a compression play was when I was first starting to play bridge by somebody who had an unusual sense of humor. A compression play is when you take a contract that should take 10 tricks and compress it into taking nine tricks. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, oops. So, on this hand, let's say they start with two hearts and a club and then put another club on the table. Okay, so I've lost my three tricks. What do I want to do next? Okay, I'm going to rough, whatever, wherever it is, and then what? Do I pull trump? Yep. Or do I play on? Is there any good reason to put a diamond on the table before pulling trump? Nope. None, no good can come from putting a diamond on the table before I pull trump. Because once I pull my trump, the diamonds are all going to be good. And that is one thing you need to look for when you're thinking, okay, instead of thinking, I need to pull trump and then I need to think, okay, you need to think and then, if it's right to, pull trump, okay? Now, you don't want to pull trump if there's something that you're, that one side or the other, you're going to be able to use trump for before you get rid of all of them. Does that make some sense? Now here, I don't have any problems. Once I pull trump, I'm going to be able to run diamonds and take the rest of the tricks. Okay? Everybody see that? Everybody see that no good thing can come from putting a diamond on the table. All right. I got another hand for you. Now this is going to go contrary to some of the teachings that I've done for you. I hate doing that. Do you have enough points for game? What do you got? You got five up top and eight, nine, sixteen on bottom? So no, do you have enough points for game? Not really. Do you have an eight card major suit fit? Not really. So what contract do you want to be in? Four spades. Right, four spades. <laughs> <laughs> okay? So the bridge fairies came down and said, bam, you're in four spades. Play it. And then the bridge fairy got up, had to go use the restroom, and said, you get to play this hand. Oh, goody. Okay, and the bridge fairies arrange for you to lose the first two hearts and the first club again and then they lead a trump no nah, then they lead another club which you rough so over to you you've already lost your two well let's see you're in four spades let's do our loser check again So how many hard losers do you got? Two. How many club losers do you have? You got one. Well, that's three. That's all you got. Okay, you're at your limit. So your goal is to not lose any diamonds and not lose any spades. 
And now I'm going to sit down and think. Uh-oh. Yeah, no good can come from this. I'm going to say, is there anything that would prevent me from pulling Trump? Is there any advantage to using the Trump that is on the board before I pull them off? Well, I, got all, I, I do have all the high Trump. To protect against that split dime. To protect, hold on, say that again? To protect against that split dime. What would the definition of that split be in dime? Yeah, seven, so. Anything other than three, three? Yes. Okay. So yes. can I protect against a four, two split? Yes, you have Trump. Okay. So. I trump the club, and then I, I still, when I'm playing this hand, I still think about the same stuff I think about when I'm playing the no trump contract. I want to play my high cards from the short side first. So I'm in my hand, I play a small club to the king or excuse me, I play a small diamond to the king, I play a small diamond back to my ace, and then I put a small diamond on the table, and I can trump it with the queen. And no bad things can happen here. As long as they follow to the first two rounds, as long as both people follow to the first two rounds of diamonds, the rest of my hand's going to be good as long as Trump don't break really poorly for me. Because I can trump my itty bitty diamond, and that's either going to collect all the diamonds or there's only going to be one left. Then I come back to my hand and pull Trump with the ace, king, queen, and jack, or ace, king, jack, and ten. And as long as that pulls all the Trump, I've got two good diamonds in my hand. Does that make some sense? Everybody, anybody not see that? Okay. Now, out of curiosity, I'm going to act like y'all remember this. How often do hands do, if I'm missing six cards, how often do they break 3-3 three, three for me? Not all Less than 50% of the time. Less than 40% of the time. For me, they never break 3-3 three, three <laughs> when I need them to break 3-3. Three, three. Um, they're going to break 4-2 about half the time. So about 85% of the time, they're either going to break 3-3 three, three, or 4-2. I'm going I'm to make this hand on 21 points on a 5-2 fit. Now, if you, and I'm just going to throw this in as a bonus thing, there's two ways to take tricks in a bridge hand. Okay, high cards and long suits. Okay, this hand is really strong for a couple reasons. One, it's got two long suits. And second, it has high cards in those long suits. Okay, and I happen to catch my partner with the fitting high cards, which is very good. If he had the queen of hearts and the king of clubs, this hand wouldn't be nearly as much fun to play. Does that make some sense? Any questions? All right. Now, on occasion, we are going to be dealt a... 5-3 fit. And let's say that we have all of the high car, all of the high trump associated in that suit. So I have ace, queen, jack, nine, eight, and king, ten, seven. That is my trump suit. How many trump tricks can I take with this holding it unless I do something special? I can take five. Okay? I can always take these five. Wild horses cannot prevent me from <laughs> taking these five tricks. Even if I renege, I get to take these five <laughs> tricks. Okay? Because the opponents aren't able to, they don't have any higher cards than that. Now, is there a way that I can take more than five trump tricks on a 5-3 fit? Yeah. Cross rough. Mm -hmm. I can, well, I can cross rough. That's one way. Now I'm going to give you the rest of the hand. 
Yeah, and I'm, I'm just going to start throwing cards up now. Mm. Well, I only have nine cards up there. When you only have nine cards, <laughs> don't bid no trump. <laughs> Now let's look at this hand. Do I want to pull all the trump right away? No. No. Okay, is there anything I can use those trump on the board for before I pull them all? Yeah, I can trump a couple hearts. Okay, because I've got two itty bitty hearts here that unless I have a place to put them, I'm going to lose them. Okay, so to play this hand, I'm going to Oh, I say they lead a heart. Okay? They lead a heart, I take the ace, I trump a heart, put another trump on the table, trump another heart. And then I'm done. I'm going to take the ace, king of diamonds, and probably, and, well, first I'm going to pull a trump, because I don't want the ace, king of diamonds, either of them, to get rough. And then I'm going to take the ace, king of diamonds, and go home. So in the fullness of time, I'm going to take five trump. Two roughs, okay? A rough is when I trump something in one hand, okay? It's king of hearts. <clears throat> Two diamonds and one heart equals ten. Okay? On a good day, on a day where the opponent's nap. Anybody ever had that happen? One of the opponents just nodded off. Um, I can, it, diamonds break 3-3 three, three and they forget to put a club on the table. That never happens in my world. But if diamonds break 3-3, three, three, then this 13th diamond is going to be good. It never happens. Yeah, can we erase that? Mm -hmm. All right, any questions? By the way, did anybody come today expecting this is great? Ed is going to teach me everything I need to know about how to play a bridge hand in 30 minutes. Okay, of course that doesn't happen. There have been books written about this topic, okay, by really, really good bridge players. Okay? My favorite book when I was learning to play this game was How to Play a Bridge Hand, or How to Play a Hand of Bridge by Bill Root. Uh, we probably have at least one copy in our library. Um, play of the Hand at Bridge by Watson is one of the top three or four bridge books that's ever been written. Um, pretty much any book that's in our library that doesn't deal with bidding is going to be useful. We have books on bidding that were written before I was born. They will not be as useful as the books that were written on play that were written before I was born. Because the play of the hand at bridge just has, hasn't changed that much. Math is math. Okay? There, there have been wild um, innovations in bidding systems. But Play of the Hand at Bridge by Watson and How to Play a Hand of Bridge by Bill Root. Two great books. I highly recommend them. Actually, I think I... And there it is in the book. How to Play a Hand of Bridge. And there it is again. How to Play a Hand of Bridge. All right. Got one last hand for you. Questions before we move on?
at this hand. How many high cards up top? 15 and a singleton. Plus singleton. And how many high cards down bottom? 12 plus a singleton. So what contract do I want to be in? Spades, yes. How many spades? Right, six spades. Again, what happened? The bridge fairy came and did a hand for you. So, okay, I'm going to put you in six spades. Nobody wants to see how the sausage is made, but you're in the six spade contract, and then what happened? The bridge fairy, again, a little tummy upset, had to go to the restroom and left you to play the hand. Yeah. Okay. So you can't losers, but in, if you're in a slam contract, sometimes you just want to say, how am I going to get the 12 tricks? Would that be what you would be at? What? Okay, first of all, you can curse the bridge fairy later, mm -hmm. but how am I going to get the 12 tricks? Well, how many side suit winners do I have? Okay, I have, okay, hearts, I've got two. Diamonds, I've got one. Clubs, I've got one. So spades, if this, if this number has to equal 12, <laughs> what do spades have to equal? Eight. Okay, this is the math you need to do. Okay, it will guide you to how many rounds of trump you need to you need to pull. So if you need to take eight trump tricks, how many trump should you pull? None. None, because you have to make them all separately. Does that make some sense? Now they lead a club against you. They lead, nah, they lead a heart against. What's your plan? They lead a heart. Now, I'm going to give you a clue. When you're playing a cross rough, you desperately want to take your side suit winners first. Because if you don't take your king of hearts while you're merrily trumping clubs and diamonds, after they run out of clubs and diamonds, they are going to pitch hearts. And your king of hearts might get trump. And that would be, what's the word I'm looking for? Bad. Bad, yes. Okay. So, does that make some sense? And in, in the fullness of time, I'm going to end up taking the ace of diamonds and then rough, 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 rough. Now, Unfortunately, you are playing against somebody who has read the next chapter. Go, man! And they lead a trump. Go. So now, what is the most trump tricks I can take on this hole? The most I can take is seven. So what do I have to do to get this up to 12? <coughs> I'm going to have to finesse the queen of diamonds. And if it wins, champagne flows from the heavens, velvet ropes part, choir of angels goes off, and I do my cross rough. If the king of diamonds is on my left, I lose it. They pull another round of trump, and I end up taking nine tricks on this hand. That would be, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah. Well, unfortunate. <laughs> All right. All right, I now return to your regularly scheduled bridge game. Good luck, play well. <laughs>